So one of the cool features of IFD 540 in our release 10.1 software is the ability to use a Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, we will be doing some work with the FAA and we highly recommend that you buy the Avidyne keyboard for it because we won't be testing any other keyboards to assure that they're working. But the nice thing about the IFD 540 with the Bluetooth keyboard is that now you can go and enter flight plans and build a flight plan um, from the Bluetooth keyboard. So here you can see we're at Bedford uh, Hanscom Field. If I press the enter button on the Bluetooth keyboard, it's much like pressing uh, the knob here or our enter button. Uh, when I press that in, you'll see that it pulls up uh, direct to Boston. Uh, now this uses Geofill as well, so with the direct to Boston, I can actually type in an M there, uh, and it'll pick up Manchester, which is the closest VOR that starts with M uh, to Bedford, but I wanted to go down to Boston. Uh, so I'll type in a B here. It pulls up Boston uh, VOR. I'm gonna fly to Boston VOR. From there, I'm actually gonna pick up Victor 141. Uh, Victor 141, as I slide down through the choices, you can see uh, just using our Victor airway planning, there's Victor 141 down to Nantucket. So now I can go through. Nice thing is too, I can actually press A and it'll build it all the way down. So I don't actually even have to slide through those. I can arrow to the ones I want to and it will build. Uh, but because I can press the A button on the keyboard, it will build that. Uh, now I have a Victor Airway that goes from Boston to Nantucket. Uh, from there, I now need to go to an airport. I'm at the Nantucket VOR and I want to go uh, to the N Nantucket airport. So I have to choose a waypoint on that. And here you can see uh, the Vic um, Nantucket Airport that I'm not listed at. If that wasn't my destination, I wanted to go to Martha's Vineyard, which is fairly close by. I can type in the M, and as soon as I type in KM, it finds Martha's Vineyard, which isn't that far away. Uh, you can also choose other places, but I'll go to uh, Martha's Vineyard, and now I've got that loaded in my flight plan. Um, you can see the Bluetooth keyboard makes that very easy to use. Type in that information, uh, and this is coming out once again in our 10.1 uh, software release. The Bluetooth keyboard also has some other functions uh, that become very helpful when you're using it. One is we can scroll over uh, to the flight, uh, to the checklist, and if we wanted to add, you know, check oil, we can type it in on here, and now it's going to show up on it, so that makes it a little bit easier. This keyboard's really easy to use the tactile functions on it, uh, make it easy to load that information in so that you can load that. Uh, if you actually go to the nearest page, you can cycle down through the nearest. You can actually pull up a frequency and load in that frequency that you want to load into it uh, by pressing the enter, and you notice that that sent it over, so if I wanted to go to Minuteman, I could load that in. So real quick and easy, there's lots of different things that the Bluetooth keyboard can do, and also shows you where those airports are uh, by using the arrow keys and being able to type and select things and put them into uh, the IFD 540 remotely. Uh, the nice thing about this is you can mount it anywhere in the cockpit that makes sense. So that entering frequencies on the IFD 540 can be done by you know, touching the screen and entering the frequencies in here. Or you can dial the knobs to be able to change the frequencies. And now with the Bluetooth keyboard, you can actually change the frequencies here. Now keep in mind, you don't actually have to type in the leading one. So if I'm gonna put in the emergency frequency, I can do two, one, five, enter, and I've put in that frequency. So it reduces your head's down time. Uh, you can use the keyboard to be able to activate that. Makes it very easy through our keyboard, through our touch screen, and through the knobs uh, to be able to change the frequencies in the way that works best for you. For those that have flown with the IFT 540, you can zoom in and zoom out using our touch screen, which is great. You can also use our knob when you're on the map page to zoom in and zoom out on it. Uh, but now with the Bluetooth keyboard, you can zoom in and zoom out using that as well. So the nice piece about that is with our color contoured terrain map, you can zoom in and zoom out without having to reach up and touch the screen and you can get an idea of uh, terrain, where that altitude is based on your altitude uh, just by looking at the screen. So it makes it a very compelling reason uh, to upgrade to the IFD 540.